Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 71 of my Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode playthrough. And I was just doing a little bit of housekeeping, and one of the things that I completely spaced about is I've got all these capacitors for Ender I.O. So, yeah. Figured I wouldn't grab those. I'd check on this stuff on here. And this seems to be all doing pretty good. Considering that it's all shut down, so it better be doing pretty good. One thing I have running here is my, my bee making rubber. So and she's she's doing a good job. And most of these probably can go actually too. So I got my server tick down to twenty seven milliseconds. Anything sub fifty is twenty P TPS. I've got this thing still too. What the hell do I need stone dust for anyway? Just a uh, CF powder, huh? Which I can... Yeah. I ended up not using a whole lot of that, right? You know, that, honestly... Right. And I've still got that thermoelectric down there. Don't worry, buddy. I haven't completely forgotten about you. Uh, fish power is still catching up. Um, yeah. Got a lot of conduiting to fill. That's what the problem is there. Now... This guy, be redundant now. That's what I've been doing, is just removing stuff that, that makes no sense to keep it around, and so on and so forth, right? Like the power line that came went from here down there is all gone. Uh, you are putting in 12,800. Awesome. Uh, troubleshooting issues with my network. I had a few loops going on that probably were not doing good things to my power. And let's see. Another thing was, is I actually got, went up to my blood magic area for the first time in quite a while. And, for one, it was full of drops, which, come up here and there's a bunch of items swirling around here because I couldn't go in here. I mean, this, this crate was just full. And I also removed the, uh, the witch water because, well, the weather skeletons, they would glitch through, you know, if you weren't careful. But now I have it all pumping into an inner chest, so we're, we're excellent there. I also sat here and I made a bunch of runes. I got a bunch of rune capacities on here. I got rune of the orb on here now. The entire front is runes of the orb, which is... It basically boosts up the max capacity of your orb. But what I want to do is I want to make the tier 5 blood orb. It takes 80,000 LP. And when I got up here, my altar was holding like 29,000. So I had to make a bunch of... I got runes of capacity... On the sides here, I've got runes of augmented capacity in the middle. I've got 12 of these. I've got, oh, a further 16 capacity runes. On top of uh, any existing ones I had, I had some back here. At least one there. So, and I had four up here. So, yeah. It, uh, it added quite a bit of LP, or a possible LP, I should say, to my network. And here, let me get rid of some stuff. I don't need, like that shipping bin can go. And I've been keeping a few things on me, but like condos can go. I don't really need them right now. But what I want to do is pull you out for a bit. Throw you in. Now, literally, the only thing Blood Magic is running right now is itself. The only ritual I have running is the, uh, the Well of Suffering. And I get my Seer Sigil. Then eh, it doesn't do a whole lot of good, really. I was hoping for, like, this says current progress zero. Probably because it's done. That away. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and bind it to me. Toss that down there. And it's now filling up with a lot of LP. But that was just two more quests done on this chain that is I've been putting off for way too long. I've got three quests left. I've got the, the Awakened Activation Crystal, which is going to require uh, Spirit Ingots, actually, which I have. Void Metal, that was the hold up on that. And then I have the Greater Tartaric Gem, which means I have to get into the Will stuff. I just haven't gotten into the Will yet. And then the Grand, I can't even check out yet. But we got Tacos, and we got Ham and Sweet Pickle Sandwiches. I am getting, like, a lot of food. Speaking of food, have some chicken curry. 
I still haven't hit the uh, the HP cap yet. So what is my current network size? My personal network with the, the Archmage Orb and all the runes of the orb. Um, well, it says current 70,000. Doesn't It's not maxed out yet, so... Now, I still have my Elytra on, right? Here, let's... Well, actually, let's go here. Take it off. We'll put that there. And then we'll uh, go through and we'll put it back on. Are you going to work now? Yeah, now you're going to work. Okay. Unless I had to tell the game, like, hey, out. It really is on there, so. Right. But I've uh, done some fine tuning and whatnot. I said I got rid of a really nasty power loop. It was inflating both numbers quite a bit. And now I'm realizing exactly how little power I'm actually generating, which is kind of bad. Uh, yeah, current input's only 90,000. Which is actually a little on the low side, I think. Uh, might be having... You are... You're three, right? Okay, yeah. Come here. You're done. Oop. Oh, of course you did. So you are inputting straight into the network. Okay. Good. Alright. Yeah, I just figured do a little bit of housekeeping and a few odds and ends of them putting off. Like, like these guys, right? I had all those things... Did I just break the light? Okay, no, I didn't. I thought these guys were just sitting up there just chilling. I mean, wobble level 3.37. That's pretty damn good capacitor. This one's pretty crappy. Uh, Ender combustion generator I can't make. Uh, let's see. Combustion generator 4.18. Look at that. Capacitor, what is this doing here? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that is. Alloy smelter 3.7. Sag mill, yeah. Oh, here we go. Soul binder, 3.38. Slice and splice, 4.0. They're, they're freaking amazing is what they are. And I've just been had them sitting in a crate and forgot about them. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I've got a hole in my base right now. Uh, basalt, please. There you go. Sunken basalt. All right, fine, do the thing. I can't use my hand. So I moved actually a bunch of recipes out of my manufactory because I was stressing the poor machine out. I had so many things going, you know, empty, yeah, good, that uh, it just really it couldn't keep up. Alloy smelter is kind of the same thing with the alloy furnace, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. But actually, surprisingly, the thing I moved it into is down here. I've got another crusher now. And this thing actually is easily twice as fast as that manufacturer is for some recipes. This is my ore processing one. This is my crafting one. Uh, they're pretty much set up identical. Yep, that one just got some ore. Only downside is when you, you do that, it it makes a noise. Not much I can do about that one, though. But, like, say if I want a bunch of lithium, right? Lithium dust, because I've been eating a lot of this stuff, so I'm, I'm pre-crafting some is what I'm doing. But I can shove in ungodly amounts at once. And look how fast it's entering my system again. I mean, that's easily twice as fast as Manufactory. And it's got a bigger buffer, so it's not choking on the crafter like the Manufactory was. Or the crafter wasn't choking on the machine, or whatever you want to say. What is my power up to? 134. All right. But yeah, this guy, he's see, only got a few recipes left in him. Uh, let's see. Yeah, open crates. That's what all these are about. I need I need more more presses too, I think. And definitely definitely more presses for gears. I mean, look at that. That is a massive bottleneck right now. Uh pressurizer, I could probably split those up actually. And it's crushing factory. Half of these could actually go into that crusher too, I think, but that works. I mean, it's it's just a few. Magnesium, charcoal, lapis, nether quartz. I've got nether quartz in two spots. Because this guy does nether quartz dust from... Actually, no, that's identical. Oh, uh, yeah, we're taking you out then. You don't need to be doing that. You don't need to share. You can go in there. All right. 
yeah, processing. That's, yeah, a whole lot quicker than that manufacturer was. But let's see. That's all those. Yeah, pressurizer needs fixed. The advanced sawing factory is not horrible. I, I made a stick recipe. I've never needed it because of the fishing system, uh, setup I got. Now here, let's go ahead and... Actually, let's look at our niter real quick. Right? Because we're making sandstone into niter. Uh, crusher can do it from gunpowder. Okay. Pulverizer also does it from, uh, from sandstone. All right, yeah. Old Rise would probably be a better option, honestly. And of course, since I opened another thing, it reset. But yeah, I was looking at some of the things. I'm like, why did I never automate this? And <laughs> oh yeah, multi-block crafter. That bastard. Huge amount of pages. I'm thinking about redoing the crafter too and getting a couple of them that I can run concurrently because that seems like it would be a good idea. And then down here at the end, this is my advanced rocketry machines over in the silo. But like you, I mean, like this guy, how often do I need all three of these machines? And they're just kind of sitting there just taking up work. Or not work, but uh, taking up space. And something else I did is I come through here. There's no wires left. I got rid of the reverse engineering wiring. Oh, cool. It caught up finally. I was dumping all my oxidized ferric sand into here. And this is the small waste incinerator from Engineer's Decor. Kind of a cool little thing. It holds, what, 14 stacks? And whenever it tries to put a 15th stack into it, which is this slot right here, it bumps everything down a line, dumps a stack into here, and slowly incinerates it. I mean, if need be, you can, can reach in and rescue it, which is why I'm using it. I guess I accidentally do something I shouldn't, you know. But, I mean, it's it caught up. It was like 3,000, and not a problem now. <clears throat> All right. So, I organized everything by, by volume for right now. And I'm thinking my space station is actually not running right now. Hmm. Because I should be seeing a good amount of cobblestone coming into the system. It's not. So, it's not chunk-loaded. Which, I need to fix, honestly, because I've got lasers up there as well. Alright, so what do we got for, for chunk-loaders, right? We got the... Got this guy. Right, I've got a couple of them. And let's see, we're wearing... Yep, yeah, okay. Let's make sure I'm wearing my, my sealed suit. Alright, go ahead and dial that up. Here we go. Now these guys aren't dumping in system because they're not actually... Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys running again? Oh yeah, you're still running. Okay. I could put speed upgrades in here, actually. Hmm. Do I want to? Not particularly. See, that's going to jump my power use by like another 40-something thousand. Oh, hey, cool, we got lasers now. Those ones don't, but these ones do. All right, awesome. That looks that looks cool. Um, say 20,000 each for these guys at, at their extreme. And say 16, so we're looking at... God, 72,000 for this platform. Maybe I shouldn't chunk load it yet. Really might not be a good idea. And... You are link ID one. Oh, this is that's okay. Um, okay, come here. Gotcha. I'm trying to eliminate power cells. And I was trying to figure out what was in another dimension that wasn't loaded. It was this guy. Oh no? Yeah, because I was had flux. If you uh, go in the flux controllers, you can see it. But yeah, one of the, the points was complaining it wasn't loaded. I don't have any chunk loaders here, do I? No, I don't. But what is my my chunk layout here? 
Oh man, I got you barely within a chunk, don't I? Okay, what about... You are... Not, you're straddling chunk lines. One. So one, two, three. Damn it. Uh, these do a three by three area. What I could do to bypass all this is we'll just put one guy, say, we'll put him here. And one guy here, right? Oh, that's a little easier to illustrate the trunk lines, yeah. Yeah, I definitely... Uh, I need it one block further out, or like what, five blocks further in? You're all within a chunk, though. And so are you were right there at the edge, too. Wow. I kind of lucked out. All right. So that should be this entire dimension pretty much loaded now. Uh, except for maybe the warp controller and the oxygen. I don't think it will. Uh, one, it's in. What's that? Right? Actually, I think it's a radius of three, isn't it? So it'd be a five by five. It means one of these guys would do it, but... Mm. And done. All right. So, Panda Hustle, the desync issue is caused by plus TIC. So, see how I'm at 20 hearts? Yep, there we go. Oh, crap, that's right. I got rid of that. Come here. I had another reset button. And also, I started putting down, like, foring stuff in here. Uh... Went through, double checked all of these, reused the ones that uh, were now redundant for things closer to home in my base. And I've isolated as much as I can. Like, say, this guy here is now running off of a flex network instead of having got off of cables everywhere. That incinerator is actually just running off of one of these little wireless guys. So, he doesn't take a whole lot of power, so that's fine. Um, these guys are on their own flux point now because I'm just saving on uh, conduit at this point. I pulled like two and a half stacks of enhanced conduit out of my base. And... Yeah, we're at 36 TPS total now. Uh, let's see, planet negative two is ticking every two milliseconds. And we're not breaking even, really. But the thing is, is, I've got power going somewhere. I don't know where. Although this thing did die again. So that might be part of it. Uh, we're looking at 48,000 for the diesel generators. <clears throat> Another 4,000 for the gasoline. That's 52,000. Um, 64 if you include the fish power. And I'm rounding down at this point. Uh, so that's... Is it 48, 52, 64... Like 75. Which, in that case, it means my ethanol production line is only doing 15,000. Right. All this over here. 15,000 between this guy. Oh, who's out of power. So, never mind. He's doing a whole whopping 93 a tick right now. And these guys. Which, they're they're burning at a burn rate of 24,000. Producing 6,000 apiece. That should be 30 grand right there. So, I've got... Power not getting into my system somehow. Right, well, one thing I can do is we'll pull that and we'll put that line here. Right, and that'll. Yeah, we're only putting 18,000 in here with these guys. I have no idea why. Let's see if I punch this out. Now, what are we doing? That's almost a thousand for those those thermal ones. Oh man, dang it. Come here. I'm here, you bastard. There. And of course you do that. Yeah, that's that's a thousand right there. Actually, I just thought of something. You are actually not a power port. So all of this does not need to be a thing. Uh, 
Um, you do though, right? So here's a question. How are you getting power? Because this guy is being powered by the generators, right? How much are you taking anyway? Uh, six grand. So you're canceling out a generator. Uh, dumping excess on both. Can I, like, pull one of those out and have you still keep up? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, and I dumped a speed upgrade and you're still using 6,000, okay. Uh, how about two, right? You're still dumping excess on both. You're still using 6,000, though. What the hell? How do you work? Okay, so oxygen is going into this guy, right? Which, I'm not making a ton of HDPE, so that should be fine. So I'm going to set idle on hydrogen. And now, oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. That just freed up like 6,000 because he's not running 100% of the time. Hey, he's still kicking on very briefly from here to there. But... All right. That wasn't set up that smart, was it? That just canceled out a whole generator just by him. Uh, let's see. Like, seriously, how are you getting power? Um, all right. So that line is all... Goes here. Oh. This generator here by himself. This guy. He's also gas burning. He's powering all of that over there. So, what is your burn rate? Oh, like seven. Hmm. Can I have one of these, please? Thank you. How, what is a good place I can put this now? Uh, actually, right here wouldn't be terrible. All right, we'll just put you here. We'll say, hey, you're on the network of main power, right? And now, you... You don't belong there. You go like that now. And you are now... You're going full bore. All right, there's our 30,000 back now. Now, this guy's just out of uranium. There's not much I can do about that right now. Well, there's a bit. Also, what is, uh, let's see, your, your input. Limited item filter of one uranium. Yeah. Which is fine when he's at full speed, but man, whenever he runs out, it takes him forever to fill up, and that explains that. Uh, ingot former. I am making all the liquid lithium right now, so that's, that's fine for now. Uh, this line is still intact. I never did check out what this goes to. Right? Um, yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, wait, please. What we're going to do instead is I'm just going to disconnect you because this is all yeah, this is extremely redundant. Um, there you go. Select network, main power. You're good. Alright. That's powering these machines, which yeah, that's that's a short term fix. I'm mainly focused on getting rid of these conduits for now. Which, I mean, this was a nice long string of conduits. So, that definitely helps. Alright. Now, 
You guys can all go away. Why did you quit making noise? Are you like glitching up or something? Is that what's going on? Nah, I think I was picking him up. All right. So this power line is now running, I think, straight off of this from here up to here, right? All right, so I got my input up over 100,000 again, so I'm happier. And yeah, you're separate from a lot of things. You're now isolated. I just need uranium for you. Which, how much, like, uranium do I have? Uh, I've got, like, 13,000 ore that I haven't processed. Let's, let's check something out here. Uh, uranium, right? 238 from Nuclear Craft. I can use it to make mocks or this stuff, right? Enriched uranium fuel. Uranium-235, I can just turn to tiny piles, and I can use that to make enriched uranium fuel. Which will go into there. So, let's, uh, let's go upstairs here. You know, all this time, I keep forgetting where the damn ladder is. Oh, no, yep, nope. <laughs> the condos did, they phased up through the blocks. Instead of coming down. I can hate it when they do that. Alright. So for housekeeping, we're going to put on our radiation suit. Uh, we're going to put that away. That. I was working on my... Uh, what you call it? You, you matter producer. <coughs> that whole system. Trying to get it streamlined a little bit, too. That thing takes like 30,000 by itself. One of it's in full speed. Um, let's see, uranium again. And now what I'm going to do is just do a bunch of this. Alright, you're good. Last piece, right. There we go, last piece. Now I can use this stuff. That with... With uranium. That's it? No. Wrong recipe. Radium 238. This stuff, right? You know I'm going with this now? I just made two and a half stacks of fuel, and look at that. You're back up and running now. And 113-ish. Also, by doing, getting rid of that loop, it really stabilized this number quite a bit, which is quite nice. So the other thing I wanted was just give me a bunch of uranium. We're going to go pay a visit to our arc furnace because for fast ore processing, this guy is pretty damn good. Hey, look at that. 12 stacks exactly. And I'm just going to start grabbing some of this stuff out. I'm going to go manually load that reactor down there a bit. And get it up and running. Granted, that extreme reactor, his main thing is uh, just to make cyanite. So, how am I doing on cyanide anyway? Uh, 6,800. I think I'm doing okay ish. Alright, you, you're my input. Oh, look, you're full. And there we go. Back up to 12,000, 12 and a half. Okay. You are now doing 42 ish, so awesome. So the main hiccup in the line is whenever this tank kicks on. Which I could completely stabilize everything if I just unhooked this and ran power to him from the front, I think. So if I just go you, you, and tie in like that, yeah, and then here, 
disconnect that. You're still keeping full of power, and you're stabilized. Okay. So this little corner is 42,000. Not too shabby. So that means our number is nice and stable now. And my output's actually at times higher than my input. I've got 134 billion to go through though, so we're doing okay-ish. But yeah, I'm thinking I need better power options at this point. So, because why not? Uh, let's see. Uh, immersive tech. How about a steam turbine? <clears throat> what all do you need? Steel scaffolding, fluid pipes, redstone engineering blocks, two heavy en 24 heavy engineering blocks, four radiator radiators, 27 sheet metal, and 10 blocks of steel. All right, and then we also have to mate that up with an alternator, which is quite a bit of stuff and things. And then maybe a boiler? Uses diesel fuel, and I'm actually making a surplus right now. So, that would probably be a good idea. Uh, the downside of that is I'm going to have to figure out a way to get diesel to it. I can set up a reader writer channel network, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and do, go over there and do that. I'm at least going to set up a reader. I'm not sure if I've done readers and writers um, on camera or not for refined storage. If I have, it's been a while. So, so I have a power network set up. I think is actually how I'm powering this over here. Oh, speaking of which, you're, uh, you're redundant, so. Actually, you know, uh, can I get a slag brick, please? Slag, thank you. And, bunk, there he goes. All right, awesome. I still have these capacitors here, which are, uh, they're actually all empty. Hmm. All right, yeah. Because I'm going to need those to build the, uh, I'm going to need HVs anyway to build that alternator with. So, Figure why not use pre-made ones I had. Here we go. And I think this one's an HP as well. Uh yep, sure is. There. That should be all the capacitors anyway I need. And alright. Uh here, just give me one of these. Oh, that capacitor was full, though. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. There, that gets rid of one of the shadows in here. And, oh. so, yeah, this interface here is actually also redundant. I don't know if I've got any spruce left for it, though. So, I'm going to leave it be. Uh, you're going over that way. This is my creosote thing. Creosote buckets. This is for making treated planks. This is my lubricant drum with eh, a decent amount in it. And this is my diesel, right? So I, what I can do is get a drum. I'm going to slap you right here, right? And then can I get a reader, please? One of these. Slap you onto there, and you are going to be reading this as just diesel, right? There we go. You're filling up. Now, these pipes aren't very fast, but honestly, they don't really have to be. And the sounds from the diesel engines, uh, they, they tend to, to glitch out after a while. So, But obviously, I've got fuel. I do like that hatch. Oh, little experience orb. Oh, 
Hello, HP connector that was on the outside of the building. See, they're still smoking. Oh, yep. Finally put a dent in my tank over there. Oh, hey, I drained that one. So, oh, I forgot to put the concrete back in the front. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's gas concrete. Oh, give me regular concrete. All right, cool. Might actually be able to hook up a fourth one, but I don't know. Might be expecting a bit much. Let's see, you're my... Ow, my sounds are broke. I didn't hear that hurt sound. Hmm. I mean, not horrible running power like this, but, well, I need a couple of flux points in that case. I need one for that built room, and I need one for this room. All I'm powering over here, really, is just this guy. Well, these machines, but they, for the most part, these don't run anymore, so. Uh, it would be this apiary, and that separator there, and then, and then the centrifuge. Yeah, I don't know. But, let's go ahead and head back down into the foundry. Hmm, ginkgo trees. Bearing fruit. Alright, awesome. So, yeah, you're... You're fine, you're not crafting any. You, you're, you're processing stuff up for me. And honestly, what I'm kind of thinking about doing is saying screw the 5x and just dumping so much power into ore production that it's, uh, I just make it up on bulk pretty much instead of being efficient and just throw huge amounts in and add it instead. But before I do that, I'm going to need power. So let me, what's my steel situation? Uh, my steel situation is, uh, I got 4,100. What about my steel plates? Uh, we have none. Okay, here. Make like four stacks of those for me, would you? <laughs> what did I need electrical steel block for? Uh, dimensional transceiver. Okay. Is there any chance I can make those? Uh, I am missing inter crystal. Okay, so I didn't automate a few of the inter IO recipes yet, and I need I need a lot of grains of infinity. Do I have any fire water by any chance? No. Can I make a that? I think I looked at this a while ago. And so, what are you? Regular fluid tanks, a fractionating still, and a couple cauldrons. Okay. So I need like two of you. Done. Because I had extra plates left over. Uh, fluid tank in Rayo. Here, just make like five of those, would you? Thanks. They're handy, if nothing else, than for a fluid buffer. So. And then, can I get a fractioning still? Oh, I have one. Um, You are going to sit here for now, because I don't know if uh, you... Actually, you're basic, right? Yeah, you're not augmented. You're fine. So, cauldrons. Come on. And then tank. Okay, there, there is the vat. Now I want to make fire water. Thing is, I only need to make a bucket of it, right? So fire water starts off with hooch. All right, well, hooch is also made in a vat. It is water plus potato sugar equals hooch. So... Here, give me one of those. Well, two of those, actually. And give me an extra bucket, because I seem to have run out. I'm not sure why. Now, what do I have for sugar? Uh, 13. 
I need to set up a sugarcane farm. Uh, I'll just grab some of that. And then... I gotta eat some of my potatoes, so... I also got tiny potatoes left. Oh, that was a quest. Oh, hey, look at that. Accidental questing. So get me a... Available power line, please. Right here will work. Set you there. Got power coming in. Good. I need a capacitor. A basic one should work if I have any. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Yoink. In you go. You're full of power. Give you that. Give you a sugar and a potato. That's a 4x and a 1x. And you say you want more water for that. You really want more water, huh? Uh, that's full of cracked coal. Let's not dip into that. Hmm, look, I got a water tank right here. Holy crap, really? How many of those do you want? There we go. Four buckets of water equals one bucket of hooch. Now I'm just going to do that to clear this bucket out. And I'm just going to you know, be like, hey. Now the hooch goes in, and now the fire water, right? That was a bucket of hooch, one blaze powder, one redstone, equals one fire water. Alright, I can work with that. So I need a blaze powder. Also, I need to hook up blazes too. And it was a, was it gunpowder? Dang it, I have completely forgotten now. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, the vat. It was redstone, redstone, okay. Hmm, 40,000 redstone. Yeah, I'm doing okay. And, got our bucket of fire water. All right. Now let's just put some of this stuff away for now. Um, chisel can go away. Yep, they're running. You can see all the, the miscellaneous blocks coming in. Uh, that may have been why my uh, my little incinerator was able to keep up, actually. Let's go check on that guy. So let's check on the belt in front of him. Oh, no. No. No, he's keeping up. The, uh, the um, exporter can only work so fast, so. But the thing I'm curious about now is the ferric sand. Uh, we're up to 48 grand, and it's, uh, yeah, it's going up faster than I'm getting rid of it. So that little guy is probably not going to cut it. He's not meant for the numbers I'm doing. All right, so I need to get to bedrock. So, why did I even come this way? I need to go to the basement first, which is right down here. I need to have like 20 travel anchors just all over the place. Hmm. And where I wanted to go was down to here. I just want to get to bedrock. All right. Was it? Okay. I was looking for ore excavation commands, but oh well. Oh look, uranium and, and redstone and diamond and more uranium and more redstone. And actually, here, let's do that. We're going to put our bucket of red stuff, or fire water right there. I can stand in it. It actually doesn't hurt any. And what I want to do for now, 
So let's just make this a permanent setup. Can I get a vacuum later? Um, you know, a vacuum chest might work too, actually. And an ender chest, please. So what I'm going to do here is I should not put away all my all my stone. You are gonna go here, right? Go on top, break you. Okay, you're good. Now, hmm. That's why I wanted the vacuum later, because it's uh, it can auto output. Can I get one of these? Uh, can I get a device frame, please? So you make a copper gear it shouldn't be too terribly bad. Like this guy. Uh, Sterling generator, mind you, but... Oh my good lord, how long does it take to make this thing? It's just a gear. There it is. Alright, so let's go... Vacuum later instead. Like I said, this guy auto outputs at the top. And what's going on here is the fire water is gradually ticking. Here, let me just. Uh, there it goes. And every so often, it'll produce a grain of infinity. Uh. This is like 50% chance. This is like a 2% chance. So, uh, let's see if I, there we go. Can you not? Thank you. All right, so we're just going to whitelist these. And hey, you got one inside you. Now what I can do is put a triple white ender chest on top. And you'll auto export it there. Done. Build is finished. Um, just in case I want to. Find this place again. That is kind of like randomly dug down to bedrock, so. Oh look, zombie had that I left behind ages ago. And. There's my staircase. Okay. Cool. So that is taken care of. I need to finish this hallway too. Like I said, I got sidetracked with Eternal and nah, I've been doing a whole lot of Enigmatica right now. But, you know, it's what it is. Oh uh, yeah, I need to... Alright, I've got an idea. Wait, can I at drawer? Thank you. Because I want to just go ahead and we're going to make a void upgrade. Right. So actually, it's for the, right here instead. I was thinking like, oh, I need to tie this into my system and all that. I'm like, I don't really need that much honey right now. You are going to be voiding this stuff. And you're going to be outputting up there as well. And what we're going to do is... I'm going to do that, right? Auto input's unavailable, unfortunately. Now, okay. Now, it looks like it looks like it's working for now. We we should be okay for now. Probably it's gonna screw up on me eventually. So if I didn't need to auto output on this guy to do this without conduits, then I could just use a like an R of Tools crafter, like a crafter tier one. I feel like I can only install eight of these things in there. Hmm, oh well. And this guy actually ran out of genetics liveware, so. 
Now, the vat. What What do I need out of you? Uh, let's see. Nutrient distillation. Dew of the void. Vapor levity, which comes from Dew of the void. Ooch. Uh, rocket fuel, fire water, liquid sunshine, cloud seed, and concentrated cloud seed. Which goes into a weather obelisk. Which concentrated... With a fireworks rocket and 160,000 micro infinities, makes it a thunderstorm. All right, that's that'll work. All right, so you are doing okay, right? You're already down to 18. What the hell? I need to get ore processing back up and running quicker. Quicker than I have been. I mean, this guy's, he's helping, but I have to stop what I'm doing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve to fill him up. And that's es no bueno. Good news is he's producing a lot of slag. So this guy's doing its thing still. I've actually got three of these lasers going right now. But I'm getting ready to move that guy there with the three lasers to the end. And one thing I'm doing is I'm trying to see if I can get this done without mystical agriculture crops. I'm just kind of curious. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go. Oh, oh my god, it's a longer episode than I thought it was already. Okay, I need off the gate for bragging rights, yeah. Before I can check those out. But like, uh, just look up creative, right? Creative screen requires screen tier 1, 2, and 3, extra utility screens, and RF tool screens and a screen controller. Not a problem. There's 100 million RF, but not a problem. Uh, let's see. The creative block exchanger requires a lot of these ultimate catalyst and creative ending upgrade. So this is like the penultimate item, or this is the ultimate item. This is the penultimate here. Once you get this thing, you have limited items. The thing is, you get two, and if you craft one by itself, you get two back, and it's just all sorts of super cheaty. Uh, let's see, chaotic cores, uh, pretty standard, okay. Uh, Benitaite, nope, and Anglosite, right? Uh, no. I do need to get into environmental tech soon, but not too worried about it right now. What's in the cell frames? Uh, pretty sure no. Now we're good there. Conium chest. Yeah, no, we're good. Infinity ingots are made in here. With infinity catalysts and ultimate singularities. These guys are... Dragon egg. It's either dragon egg chunks or dragon stone, dragon heart, scales. Drops from ender dragons, okay. And eggs of some flavor, okay. I need one per infinity catalyst. I need 11. Yeah, 11 catalysts per per ingot now. I need bullet used iron, block of demon metal, Mirian, terrestrial artifacts, which are not horrible. Elite plating, which is just a kick in the nuts, but not anymore, actually. I've got it very well automated. Uh, some meatballs, Andus pearls, not horrible. Ultimate stew is not terrible. Awaken cores are pretty standard. Crystal matrix and goods, yeah, okay. I don't think I have to have, at least at this point, mystical agriculture for anything, so. Because if you get a lot of farms of those going, it can get really stupidly laggy quick if you're not careful. So you're shut down over here, right? Uh, yeah, you are, uh, you're completely shut down. And you guys are pretty much backstuffed, huh? I have yet to use UU Matter for anything. And I'm pretty sure it's driving some people nuts, but... I've been kind of making do with uh, what I got, so I'm not terribly concerned about it quite yet. Let's power you back on. And if I want this ring running full-time, I'm just going to have to... 
get something else set up. Like give it a dedicated fusion reactor or something like that. Alright, but... Okay, we're looking at all that fun stuff. Thing is, I actually did do a, an Indrio quest this episode, so... We're gonna claim that, and... BLTs. I have not eaten those yet. Cool. And it's one of nature's perfect foods. Bacon. All right. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series. And until next time, fine signing out. Have fun.